this is my first attempt for um, time being nominated for. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is my first attempt in the uh, political realm. So I want to say, Ani Bojo, I post this because Chinatown Donjibo, Makoa Donem. My name is Weston Marsden, nominated by Lance Kopagog and seconded by Tory Press. Uh, Christian Island is my home. There's uh, nothing. Else, I would like to see more than our, our community thrive uh, for our membership to be comfortable in their lives wherever they're, they are in their journey. Uh, just a couple of my views. Um, Christian Island had an opportunity to be a, a leader in various avenues, such as uh, sustainability and self governing. Uh, we have passed on self-governing in the past. Uh, this fact forced me to think about why we did not vote in favor of self-governing. Uh, and that just led to uh, think of some of the solutions that um, we could work on to uh, get to that to that level. Um, I believe that if we grow strong families and we have balance within our community, that someday we could grow into the self-governance. Uh, if we were a self-governing community, we could make our own decisions on how we would like to spend funding. This would bypass applying for grants from the government that force our workforce to bid on money as available for our community. Uh, it would make it easier for departments to access funds for equipment that would make our island nation more sustainable. Uh, uh, food sovereignty is a way that our community could lead in sustaining a way of life that is healthier. Uh, there are people in our community that already use their lands and resources to grow their own produce. Uh, this leads to less stress on neighboring communities to provide for us. If we grow our own uh, produce gardens or if we have our own greenhouses, uh, that will provide food source year round. Uh, so travel fees along with the inflation of food prices. Uh, these issues have been factors for me to run for a council position. Uh, family is probably the other biggest factor. My wife, Marissa, along with uh, our son, Wendell, plan to have long lives living here at home. Uh, we realize we're a small part to a bigger community. Having our uh, community grow with our youth will show the young people that the importance of staying engaged with the uh, growth of the community. Uh, if our leaders take the time to talk with the youth and give them the confidence to strive for more, uh, that is a good way of living. Uh, the same event happened to me while I was enrolled to pursue my diploma in mechanical technician precision skills from Georgian College. I had uh, both leaders from neighboring communities and from here at home tell me that if younger member members were to run for chief and council, they would uh, gladly step outside, allowing us to guide our communities. Uh, it gave me the confidence to, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, battling a little bit of a head cold. Uh, yeah, so that advice gave me uh, the confidence uh, not only graduate from college uh, in my trade, uh, machine trade, 
and also planted a seed to become a leader with uh, intentions to do good. Uh, and this dog language has been a, a top priority for me. Uh, learning language, speak to the young people so they will feel the strength of native language. Um, living in the logs, I mean, allowed me to find more chances to speak the language, putting me in position to uh, count birds on the water, guide my dog safely over the door for a walk or a run. And uh, I've noticed that our native language is, um, it gets broken down into like simple, simple things like that, and, uh, living a good life. Um, it doesn't ask you to be extraordinary or live a spectacular life. Like our language is just simple, simple uh, words that explain everyday situation. Uh, I've been learning from books and uh, that have both English and English now being a win. Uh, pretty much just so I can understand what, I, what I'm reading. Uh, education has built the confidence, strength in me that brings me value every day in my everyday life. Uh, I found working with uh, fellow communities uh, to be better educated allows for uh, broader spectrums that enable people to work at peak performance. Uh, this allows communities to strive rather than survive. Uh, I, I'm gonna keep it short and speed up. Not much of a big talk, but um, I'd like to thank my nominators for this great opportunity to lead our community. Uh, my family for standing with me through this experience, love and support has been uh, really humble. Thank you for your time and consideration in this election. Uh, Mama P, Niji, the women.